the roommate first. Okay, the story is a uh, girl goes to college, and when she gets to college, she has to have a roommate, obviously. She gets into her room, and there is her roommate, and it's somebody who seems terribly nice and terribly ordinary, and terribly like, a jolly good roommate, somebody who's caring. And very, very early on, she goes out uh, drinking with some of her fellow girlfriends, and one of them sort of abandons her, and so she has to call her roommate. Oh, you know, can you help me out? Yeah, the roommate. But is the roommate slightly too attentive? Is the roommate slightly too involved? Is the roommate perhaps too... Probably. Is she is she starting to develop an obsession with the girl? Well, who knows? But certainly the girl that she went out with in the first place, with whom she got drunk and then abandoned, thinks that the new roommate is a bit dodgy. Here's a clip. Listen, something is up with your roommate. What do you mean? She was outside my room this morning. Doing what? Waiting for me? I opened my door and there she was, just sitting there staring like some psycho. Why would she do that? You ask her. I'm staying away from her. Okay. I gotta go. So somebody's just tweeted. Um, 28 days later was not a zombie. Oh, sorry, you've just corrected yourself. They were actually doing it at the point that I want to say that. That's true. But also, the, the, in that clip, conclusive proof that something is afoot. Ding, is the ding, John ding, Carpenter ding, 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 ding. But it is, the, it's the John Carpenter interval, isn't it? It's the, that with the semitone. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, oh scary. she's Scary weird. on the semitone. I mean, the thing that more tells you that something bad is coming up is that you go, this is single white female. And the funny thing about the single white female connection is, actually, if you look on IMDb Pro, this is listed as a remake of single white female, then, then so is that Jag Mundra movie, um, Apartment. Um, uh, but the credits don't sort of tie that up. But the fact is, it is single white female. I mean, do you, you remember single white female? The Barbay Schroeder film um, with uh, uh, Jennifer Jason Lee as the... I don't think I ever saw it. Based on a novel, Single White Female Seeks Same. And um, uh, we have a girl has an apartment, she gets a friend, somebody that comes in and stays with her, and then during the course of the movie, the second character actually effectively wants to become the first character. Oh, she's, she's interested, she's involved, she's going, she's too interested, she's too involved, she's too encouraged, she's too obsessive. E -e 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 -e, and it's all going to go totally Can I just psycho. say that uh, for people who weren't watching on the live stream, that noise... Was That's the international gesture of the, the, you know, the shower. It's, it's the psycho scene. Yeah. E, 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 e. It's the Bernard Herrmann score. So the big problem that you have with roommate is that in in the case of the, in the case of single white female, you've got a film directed by Barbara Schroeder, who's very very interesting. You've got Bridget Fonda. You've got Jennifer Jason Leigh, who's terrific. And although it is essentially a sort of uh, you know a B movie with A list stars. It's quite a good B movie with Ada Stars. In the case of this, you've got a film starring Leighton Meister, who's who was in Country Strong a couple of weeks ago, Minka Kelly, and directed by Christian E. Christensen. And at the beginning, it says "and Billy Zane." It's one of those "and." What does Billy that mean? Zane. And Billy Zane means B picture. Well, you see, what's interesting is the uh, in Red Riding Hood. I'm sure it says "and Julie Christie." Oh no, that's different. That means she's very famous. Yeah. She won an Oscar. She, she's very famous, won an Oscar, but she's only in it for ten minutes. Okay, so there's okay. Th there's a very interesting uh, thing about what and means, right? And in, in in the case of and Billy Zane, I mean Billy Zane is in Titanic, right? But he's not and Billy Zane. It's it's he's just he's it'd be actually, a great first name actually, wouldn't it? Well, and never Billy mind Zane. Max. And just call your kid and, and then instantly they have a certain status in the movie industry. What's your name? And, and Mark Kermode. Very See, good. Uh, that kind of works. But in, but in some cases it means, you know, it's like, for example, there's loads and loads of movies which, have got, which are and Lance Henriksen or and Rutger Hauer. It means that they turn up for five minutes in order to give the thing some kind of genre platform. They're generally straight to video movies, what we used to call DTV movies. And uh, they're and in this case it's and Billy Zane. Billy Zane comes on and plays a fashion zone. But the whole thing with the fashion teacher, the whole thing with the movie is it's just a plodding, fairly nuts and bolts B movie, well, C movie, in fact, which is so reminiscent of single white female that all you do all the way through is think, oh, I haven't seen single white female for a while. I wish I was watching single white female. So it's not very good. It's very, very bland, middle of the road. You can, you, it's, you know, it's not terrible, but it's not any good.